was something I played with a lot when I was a kid. He was a little army man. The YouTuber out there that likes to do these army men wars. I'm curious what this is all about. I'm kind of looking into it a little bit. Because you never know. The Bob might, uh, might have some fun with it. He might end up, uh, start a, a third front. The crazies may just come to town. It might be an insurgency of crazies. <laughs> You never know. We'll see what happens. You guys should see what I did earlier. Um, you'll see it. I'm going to edit it up real quick like though. It's like 11 minutes long what I actually did with the scout. But I had to fix the scout. You know, both kids are sick. Um, I had a fairly good day at work. The battery's dying so I'm going to have to edit this. It might show up a little late in my time. I think I should be able to make it though. I mean, the wife's calling me now. Probably to say, the dogs are barking. We need to feed the dogs. Go away. Love you, babe. <laughs> Anyways, on that note, I need to quickly summarize this up. Um, roll the footage. And you guys have a nice day. See you tomorrow. Fixing it time with 5150 the Bob. Fixing it time. So if you guys can see here, look at this. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, it's like super zoomy, but oh well. There you go. So I had my lock fall out of my door today. Found the little piece that holds it in here is rusted and broken. Of course, the door isn't all that pretty either. But what do you expect from a vehicle? It's 72, so what is that, like 46 years old thing here? <laughs> either way. Uh, realized it wasn't going to hold very well, so a couple of zip ties in a well-placed area, and bada bing, bada bang, it should hold up. Anyways, I went to the store and it was pulled out. Let's see if we can get the angle of the uh, where it connects to. It. Yeah, I don't think so. It's too wide for the phone. So I had to crawl through the passenger door. I was like, that shit ain't going to last long, because fuck that. Because also the other thing was this little rod right here, which is the locking rod, was disconnected. So there was no way to unlock the driver door from the inside either. Well, I reconnected that, so now I can actually lock the door here. Oh, where's my keys? Ow, 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 ow. God damn it. Fuck. Oh, Whew. here we go. Here's some light. Where's my keys? Did I put it in my pocket? Or they are in my pocket. Time to test this theorem. See if we fixed it. Fixed it. Well. So long as I'm gentle, looks like looks like we have a repair door. The other option I was thinking too, besides doing that. Is maybe drilling some holes in here and here, putting some nice bolts, and uh, making one of those like gate latches with a lock, putting a little padlock on the door. <laughs> then the door's always unlocked, but the only way you lock it is with a padlock. I might still do that anyways, just because. Be kind of, kind of awesome actually. Yeah, it goes on here. Look at this. I'm like 
almost put my body weight into it and it's barely moving the window so I have a funny feel on the regulator over here wherever it is I don't know if you guys will be able to see it because I cannot too well we're gonna hit it with some WD-40 the hell why not right all these little joints these rusted up spots WD-40 usually does pretty well on that, right? Right. Anyways, WD-40. The magic stuff. Scloob this all up in here. <laughs> Scloob. Making up words. Oh, that's bright. Just be liberal with your spray, right? Here you go. This side here a little bit more. Hey, why does your truck smell like Jimmy Fruity, man? I don't know, because it does. Well, I can actually turn it now. It still takes a bit of effort. But I can turn it. It's gotten a little easier. So now I can scloob this section up here up a little bit. Oh, wow. That's what I'm talking about, huh? Look at that. Love it. Whoa. It's a long video. Fuck off. <laughs>